I mean, this quarterback, this other quarterback never gives up. I mean, just constantly, constantly in my face. I was you last week. I know exactly what you're going through. You didn't have to sit through this championship game, though. No, but I did sit out our first state title game. That wasn't easy to do. For all I know, this could be my only shot at it. Then I guess we'll just have to do this all over again next season, huh? No. I'm going pro. First chance I get. You stay with the Longhorns. I'm going pro, sucker. Good luck out there tonight. Thanks. Who <laughs> rained on your parade, little Miss Sunshine? Uh, I'm not in the mood for this right now. It's because you're not playing, I'll take it. Like, I haven't had a bad enough day already. Now I have to deal with you. I know you're upset. That dude Tommy's your brother. And brothers should always have each other's backs. And wipe that soft pussy look off your face. It's game time. You know what you can do with your advice? champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game as we'll see the Oklahoma Sooners taking on the Texas Longhorns. Okay, son. about the defense. I'm going pro. The pressure perhaps getting to this young Longhorn quarterback. They trail at the break. Just one half of the into the college football season as we begin the second half of this national title game. Slater on the return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. And they're on 30-yard drive. About set for their next drive, the Texas offense at the line. And the way this offense has played thus far, to be funny, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally, because they've done all nothing offensively in this game. Yet, they still find themselves in a position. On this drive, 
for a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they had so far, the field goal. He's letting this one go for four. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Boy, Charles, a pretty unique opportunity here for this young quarterback. We know that he's had plenty of opportunities under center, one every start, but this is different. You're coming in cold off the bench for the second half of a championship game. You're exactly right about that because your mindset is a little bit different than when you know you're going to start at times during the season or you know you're the backup that you're going to play. He didn't call it all in the first half. Get a post starter essentially all season long. And now he's got to go out there and find a way to guide his team to victory in the biggest college football game of the year. My gosh, I feel like I'm back at the beginning of the Texas Longhorns. Oh. Oh, well. Just short little dumpy passes and hand off to the and go sit on the bench. The Longhorns come up first and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Going deep for Walker. And nearly picked off there. It would have been a great time for their first pick. And static second down. But you got to think the sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it once again on the last play. This one is incomplete. And Texas here in the college football playoff looking for what would be their fifth national title. They were a powerhouse back in the 60s and 70s, winning it in 63, 69, and 70. And then they waited 35 years before winning it again in 2005 and haven't won it since. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. But this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much of a fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. The punter for Texas out on the field. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. is the Oklahoma offense ready for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, has it? And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. One of the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big. But sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's well, perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz. And even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz caught and you still cover the screen, that allows the blitzers to get there. To try again after the sack. Young, go on the right side here, and that's complete. And they work this out past the 25. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. And now, folks, we're getting confirmation on what we heard earlier about quarterback Tommy Matthews. He will not be returning to his football game. And he started in this one after having not started in the semifinal, but they've gone back and forth all year round. And now with Tommy Matthews rolled out for the rest of the game, the national championship now rests on the shoulders of his high school teammate and friend. He gets his opportunity to put a ring on the fingers of his teammates. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it will bring up a second and nine. Oh, that takes a lot of pressure. The other QB is gone. I mean, hey, 
sentimentalism, that's one thing, but we're in a dog fight. This is a football game. Even if it's gonna be just a memory after it's over, it's my memory, my reputation. <laughs> I'm going pro, and this game can sabotage that. <laughs> well, keep it on the ground. Thomas, there's a little for five up to the 33. And I'll be stuck here with this head coach and other QB. I have to go through this one more season. Ah, oh, the pain of it all, the pain. Oklahoma, such a proud football tradition, seeking their eighth national title. They were winners three times way back in the 50s, back-to-back -back champs in the 70s, and then added titles in 85 and in the year 2000, but they haven't won it since. All my receivers and halfback, just just go for it and be prepared. I'm throwing the football, wild and reckless. Just be prepared. Catch it if you can, drop it if you want to. I'm going to throw it. Now Oklahoma's punter out there getting set as he's on the punt for the first time tonight. A 40 yard punt, five yards on the return. Over first and ten at their own 29 yard line. The Longhorns come up here to begin their next drive. James had a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches didn't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. This was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath where I'm just trying to pull up some space and it worked out really well. Again, not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a man open down the middle of the field and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They get 17 more on that one and another first down. Now they've been completed a couple on this drive, but they've pulled on some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And his throw here is incomplete. He was going to give it up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give him something to build on and maybe turn the tide. in here on second down this time complete and he will take this in for a long home touchdown Buster Holiday 36 yards and the Longhorns have the lead back to the departure of Tommy Matthews at the half the offense able to regroup and put the football in the end zone yeah that's something they could have accomplished in the first two quarters of this game so finally climbing their way down really because Red O'Brien injured a couple of three to 
this kid was out there right now. What did we know about him? He's a fighter. Yeah, he, he, you're exactly right. I was just going to say that, Charles. He, he's a fighter. And you guys have plenty of upside. We know that he can lead. You and I sitting with him this week. Didn't you just see a guy who could step into any locker room and control the presence of his teammates? Well, I just remember when we left that room, you said two things to me. And I think this kid's going to be poised under pressure. And to me, he's a natural leader, and I concur with both of those statements. The Sooner offense back out, ready for their next possession. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going up offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes a simple stop causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, Second leader has to go with it, or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow, they get from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Well, they got quite fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, this is the result. So did I get say. <laughs> it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now Thomas. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 of the 36. Ball carrier. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means have to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip set down at the second level. So they'll give a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. Back now here on EA Sports. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. The offense on third down today, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. And Young's throw there incomplete. Now this defense has come up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now Oklahoma's punter out there getting set. Yes, he's on here to punt it away. <laughs> the Longhorns take over first and ten at their own 34 yard line. About set for their next drive, the Texas offense at the line. Well, this is such a nerve-wracking time right now for both of these fan bases. My palms are sweating, CD. I don't even have a dog in the fight right now. Yeah, and you're doing better than me because it's just your policy right now. I'm soaked in my shirt with this ball game and everything going on. Can you imagine what it's up for that young quarterback down on the field of you and I like this? That's the thing. Your right leg is tapping up and down. My left leg is tapping up and down. I can only imagine what it's like to be inside that helmet. Look, no Tommy Matthews. The spotlight Charles shining just brightly right on him. And you know what his head coach, Red O'Brien, has been telling him this entire time? Second man. Teams win national championships, son. Don't worry about trying to do it alone. The lights might be bright right now, but you've been in similar situations like that throughout the season. Carry us home. Oh, it's for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Thank you. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. The hitter here, it's complete. The pass this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31 yard line. Brings up second. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. You would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the team had stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. But as he dragged across each zone, you see a point in communicating. There he is. And it passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Here's Young from the shotgun. Oh, 
going to be a little complete. It's Mason. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards through the air and a first down. That certainly has to feel good. That's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Try and keep moving. Now he's flushed out left. And he'll go down, but not before getting his inside the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. But to me, this leads to the question. Do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time? Or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know. I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leads towards admiration. In the middle, open is Thomas. Young, they'll contain him to just four. Second down. Young working out of the gun. Off to Thomas on the left side. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a first down and a gain of 10. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him on the backfield. Hey, I'm impressed with the other quarterback. He's doing a good job. I'm impressed. Any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. First down now, but the clock continues to move. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Three yards in the game there, second down. Yeah, the Sooners QB, if he just improvised like he's doing right now, he would be, you know, neck and neck in the score. But because he was playing by the system, I I was playing just, I was just throwing the football. I was just improvising. And that's, that's why we were dominating.
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. side of the field here, second and long. The victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. The punter for Texas out on the field. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Well, they changed quarterbacks in half and did not miss a beat. Here they are, your national champions. And celebration time on that sideline. It took a change of quarterback as thoughts will turn to the condition of Tommy Matthews. But for now, jubilation as they are the national champions. Well, now that the other quarterback is sideline, I could be a nice guy. I feel comfortable. I'm going pro. Well, Tommy's injury certainly was a set. But the bond that these two kids had was really strong. And although only one of the hardware kids was out there in the second half, Tommy's spirit was with him, I believe. You hear from Mr. Matthews? No, he gave it away. He's stable, but we're only allowing family to go back for you. That's great, because he's my brother. You think that's something? I should see it in person. Oh, man. That's so cool. Uh, so much for coming and bringing this. Are you kidding me? I wouldn't miss this for anything. I'm coaching the guys in their best. They waited as long as they could, but no one knew when you might wake up, so they had to catch the flights back. I told Coach I wasn't about to split up the heartbreak kid, so I had to stay behind. Make sure you were all right. Thanks, man. I'm just glad you're here. Man, they did leave you the trophy. We wanted to make sure you had it when you woke up. Like a second girl. It's funny, because that's exactly what I was going to say you look like. Hey man. Promise me one thing. Anything. But you'll come back next year. Make another championship. Together. Next year. Just focus on getting you healthy. One day at a time, right? Yeah. <coughs> Doc said I shouldn't ever do it. Did she say what caused all this? Yeah. Something about the stress from my filthy roommate and giving his dishes lying around in the apartment. She said if it weren't for that, I'd be the pinnacle of health. Yes. <laughs> hey, seriously. You gotta start cleaning up after yourself. It's ridiculous. Really? Right now? <laughs> well, I don't want to see him anymore. Is that him? He's an hour early.
Oh shit. Don't you look too disappointed. No. Well, I don't want to see him anymore. I'm going pro. No, I'm just expecting Tommy. Come in. Get for a cupcake? No, thanks. So, you here for the party? No. Wait a minute. Okay, coach. Actually, I'm, uh, here to talk to you. The next season. Yeah, sure, talk away. Was, uh, was something you said at the, uh, at the start of the season earlier. It really stuck with me. That you suck? Something good, I hope. That you're a terrible coach? You don't motivate? You antagonize? I should be calling you Donald Trump. Well, it was... Something you said about treat your men like your beloved sons and I'll follow you into the deepest valley. I didn't say that. That's the other quarterback. You bastards. You toxic and poisonous bastards. That really got me. You got me thinking about the way I treat you boys. And I wasn't being fair to you. Tell me for that matter. What a team. Oh, coach, I really appreciate that. All that being said, I, I wanted to go into the off-season later on the same page. I figured the best way that we could do that would be to announce a starter. <sighs> Tommy's going to be our starter. But how could you possibly make that decision after the title game? Is Tommy even going to be able to play? Yeah, I spoke with his doctor. Uh, replacement surgery was great. It's going to be right as rain. Just don't understand. I know this is hard for you. It's, it's hard for you to process, and, and I hope you believe me when I say that I take no joy in making this decision. I stand firmly behind it because, frankly, Tommy's a better fit for the offense. Well, what does this mean for me? that you are at a monumental crossroads in your life and you've got two choices. You can enter the draft, based on what you did last year, I'd say you can pick the third round. But realistically, they're looking at a late round selection at all. Yeah, but at least I won't be here. Please, don't sugarcoat it for me. Well, I'm trying to be open and honest, man. From this moment forward, I'm giving it two years I would my own beloved son. So. My other choice? Well, the way I see it, you get too much raw athleticism to waste sitting on the bench. Talent is a true gift. And this one that I'm going to give you the opportunity to show it to the world. And how's that? You get to pick a new position on offense. Get your heart rate kids thing going back again. I appreciate the faith, Coach, but if I'm going to play QB at the next level, it seems like leaving now is my only shot. Yeah, that's probably true. Wow. I did not expect all this to come to an end so soon. Well, anything you need, just call. And when those NFL coaches come calling, trust that I'll have your back. Yeah, right. You've been stabbing me in the back ever since I got here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a hug just to show how toxic and poisonous you are. <laughs> I'm not sure what's more strange, that interaction or the general cleanliness of this apartment. And that says it all. Cupcake?